somebody else that, that has the potential to be the greatest of all time, whereas I am the greatest of all time. And it's going to be a sad day for Kenny Omega and all of his fans at Wrestle Kingdom 12. I guarantee it. This match was very important to me and very interesting because it's a match that nobody thought could happen. It's a lot like Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor, and you take two huge stars from two separate places and put them in a match that nobody thought could happen. So to me, it's exciting uh, for me after 27 years of being in the wrestling business. It's exciting for the fans, both in New Japan, uh, worldwide, and I think it gives Kenny a whole new um, a whole new aspect to his careers. I've never wrestled Kenny Omega before. Uh, I understand how great Kenny Omega is. Everybody's talking about Kenny Omega. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have this match because the timing for this match is perfect. It probably couldn't have happened last year. It, it couldn't have happened last year. It probably won't happen next year. Uh, this is the time for Alpha versus Omega. This is the time for Kenny versus Jericho. And he's from the same home city as I am, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And to me, there's a special connection there. Um, he basically grew up in Japan, so did I. This is my 52nd tour of Japan in January. Uh, I think we're not just typical foreigners. We're not typical gaijin. We have a very almost honor, uh, honorary Japanese feel. We're almost honorary Japanese, honorary Nihonjin. And, um, it's also a test for me, because everybody's talking about Kenny Omega, how great he is, how he's the seven-star match, he's the best bout machine. I don't like that. I don't like hearing that, because it takes the focus off of me. Uh, it makes people think that there's somebody else in the world that's better than me, somebody else that, that has the potential to be the greatest of all time, whereas I am the greatest of all time. So all of these reasons are why I wanted to face Kenny Omega and do it in his backyard, do it in Japan. And if you're going to have the match in Japan, the only place for this match that's big enough for Alpha versus Omega is the Tokyo Dome. Well, once again, Kenny Omega has a great style. Uh, he's very good, um, very good New Japan style. But I have New Japan style, I have WAR style, I have Mexico style, I have European style, I have ECW style, I have Smoky Mountain Wrestling style, I have WCW style, and more importantly, I have WWE style. Six-time world heavyweight champion. Kenny's never even been close to that. It's a completely different world. Kenny Omega is the planet. Chris Jericho is the whole universe. I'm the alpha. Alpha versus Omega, it's not just a catchphrase, it's the truth. And it's typical for somebody like Kenny to think, Jericho can't handle my style because he's been so big here in New Japan. But he's big with Okada and Naito and Tanahashi. That's great. There's four guys, five guys, six guys. I've been great against 50 guys, against 100 Hall of Famers, some of the greatest of all time. Kenny Omega has, can't, can't even lace my boots up when it comes to that type of respect and that type of uh, experience, that type of knowledge that I have. You don't see blood on a New Japan ring. You don't see blood in a WWE ring. The business has changed. It's not about that anymore, which I think is what made it so much more shocking when I hit Kenny over the head with the United States Championship and cut him open, bleeding everywhere. I liked it. It made me happy. It gave me energy. It made me feel alive. And it also changed the entire concept of what this match was going to be for me. At first, I thought, well, sure. If Kenny can have a seven-star match, I can have an eight-star match, nine-star match, the first ever 10-star match, Alpha versus Omega. Make Okada versus Omega look like, look like an opening match between a couple of, of, of young lions. But then, after Fukuoka, and then after the press conference in Tokyo the next day, it's so violent and intense and vicious. This is going to be a match like you're not going to see in New Japan again. It's going to be like a match... It's going to be a different type of match from any other match at the Tokyo Dome, any other match at Wrestle Kingdom 12. And once again, I like that because to me, it's going to stand out. You're going to see the last match of Kenny Omega's New Japan career happen at Wrestle Kingdom 12 because of me. Can you imagine all the New Japan pro wrestling fans, 
the women crying, the little kids crying, the, the longtime 20-year fans crying when their hero, Kenny Omega, career is over? You imagine how much, how, do you imagine how that's going to make me feel? I'm going to feel like the fucking king of the world because I am the best in the world, the greatest of all time, the alpha. That's who Chris Jericho is. And all the New Japan f- people, all the New Japan fans, and every rest of the New Japan locker room is going to learn a lesson. And it's going to be a sad day for Kenny Omega and all of his fans at Wrestle Kingdom 12. I guarantee it.